Hi friends, it's Anna with Three New Home Studio. I apologize, I'm coming to you late. I was having some technical difficulties with something that I was trying to figure out and I don't, I'm not sure I got it to work. So, but that's okay. You know, we just kind of move on and kind of go with the flow. So um, we are gonna be doing a, something a little different tonight. We are actually gonna be using some of our Chalk Couture transfers, but we're actually gonna be doing them on fabric. And I haven't done this before, and so I was trying to get some of my some of my things ready. I read up a little bit, and you know, I just kind of like try to wing it, right? I'm gonna grab some more of my of my stuff that I wanted to work on because, of course, I'm not completely prepared. But here we go. So this is what we're going to do. We are actually going to put chocotour on some teas tonight. Let me see if I have the right one that I want to do it on. on. So I got some um, some plain teas, and we are actually going to do this one, the United States of America. We're going to do this transfer on the tea. Are you guys ready for this? So I haven't opened this one up. This is the Independence Day transfer, and it's pretty big. But um, we're going to do that one on the teas. And then we're going to do this one. We are living our adventure. I'm thinking if it's the right size, we're going to do it on a pillowcase. And I also have some onesies, but I didn't pull out the transfer that I wanted to use on that one. So I might save that one for later and send some, send some pictures to you guys and what that one looks like. Um, but I want to try these other ones at first. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take, take a tea. I think this one is the, the medium. I got a medium size here because I'm going to put this one. Um, I'm going to be taking these to um, an event this weekend, and I'm going to be putting this on my dress form. I have a vintage dress form, and that's what I want to put on these. Um, I also have one, just a piece of cardboard. You don't have to get this piece of cardboard. Um, wait a second. My computer is trying to tell me something. Will you guys hold on just a second? Hold on just a second. Okay. I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. Anyway, um, I was trying to schedule a live, but the way I was trying to do it, it wasn't working because it was trying, I was going in the back way. Hi, Sherry. And it wanted me, um, it wasn't doing it through my web camera. It wanted me to have um, an actual uh, a camera that was attached to my webcam so I have to figure out how to do that anyway so anyway you don't have to have any fancy schmancy cardboard but this is just one I had from a long time ago I don't even know how much these are but we're gonna put this inside of our t-shirt because we're using a special kind of ink we're not using chalk paste on this we're using a special ink and it could bleed through through the fabric and we don't want that to happen so your first step is you're actually going to put the cardboard in your shirt so that we can lay it out flat. And then we're gonna see, let's see if this fits on here. I don't know. I don't know. Everything is just kind of a, you know, we're winging it. Are you guys kind of the type of people that just kind of wing it? Well, let's see. Let's see if it works or not. I am about this kind of stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna pull the transfer out, maybe. Here we go. Oh, because it's in a couple different pieces. Very cool. Make sure I got it all. Put that over here. So it comes in two two pieces. So here's the big one, right there, um, and it already has back written on here, which is very very helpful. Um, so I don't have to do that with a with a sharpie. But and then it has all these little bitty pieces as well. Can you guys see all that? Very, very fun. Now, it does have back written on this right here. Oh, can you guys see that right there? There we go. Um, it kind of spans these two, but I'm probably going to have to write the back on all these little pieces also. And I'm not sure why they do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do that because if I start cutting these apart and I don't do this, there will be all kinds of salty for not remembering this. What's cool is that they have different sizes for the fourth. They have um, 
and just kind of laid out differently. And they have some different sizes on the stars too. And that one's kind of cool. Now this would look really cute on a onesie for the 4th of July. I know we're way out of season or even this one. That would look really, really sweet on a onesie, don't you think? Okay, but this is the one that we're going to use, the big one. This is what I was planning on doing. So I'm going to put my camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you're coming on, would you say hello and let me know you guys are here, all right? So here's the transfer. And what I had planned on doing is I need to kind of make sure that this is going to fit and hit correctly. And I think it will. I wasn't planning on doing all of this right in here. The only parts that I was planning on doing was the center part. So I think that that will work. Now when you go ahead and take, take these big transfers off, there's a certain way I kind of like to take them off. I like to kind of get them started and I like to roll them. So I'm going to show you how I do these big transfers. Maybe. Here we go, we're getting there. There we go, getting started just a little bit. I wanna go ahead and I wanna make sure I get an even start all the way across here. I don't like to start from the corner. I wanna kinda of do it even this direction. So this is what I'll do. I'll start start by just kind of rolling it off of here. Now these big transfers, you don't want to pull and tug on them too hard. Any of the transfers, you don't want to do that, but especially the big ones, because they're a little bit um, more awkward to get off your sheet. But if you do that, you could end up stretching them. And if you stretch them, they're not going to work. This one's stuck on here pretty hard. And I just want to be careful. Okay, do I have it kind of even? What I kind of like to do is I like to roll them. Kind of roll them off. And I'm just going to kind of rock it back and forth till I get a pretty good start to it. And then usually, this one's a little harder. Be patient with me, guys. We're getting there. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie, do you have the Independence Day one? This one is way cool. Oh! I don't know what happened to the kids? They're upstairs. It sounds like they got caught on a door. Oh, goodness. I have not had one of the, the transfers have this hard a time coming off. There we go. There we go. It's going. What I like to do is kind of get them going even. And I want to kind of rule it off this way. This is the best way I can assure so that the sticky part doesn't, so that the two, um, the, stickies don't, the sticky side doesn't stick to one another. And again, I don't want to stretch it, so I'm just going really easy. This is probably the stickiest one I've ever had. Honestly. And I don't want to pull in that center part because that's probably the, the best place for it to stretch really bad. I don't want that to happen. I got two of these transfers because I wanted to use one and I wanted to take one to my event to sell. Now the other thing is that I have heard from other designers, and I just I didn't have this with me, is that if they get too sticky and they're hard to get off of here, that you can use a hair dryer and kind of heat it up and warm it up, and it kind of releases a little bit better. There we go. We got it. We got it. Girl power. I got it. It's kind of rolling a little bit there. We should be able to get that. Okay, who else is on here? Um, Stephanie says, no, you have not gotten it yet. 
Well, you might have to get it after this because this is going to be really fun. I just want to make sure and I'm careful. I'm going to set this off to the side. We're going to get our surface ready. And again, I have a piece of cardboard in here because I don't want um, I don't want this to bleed through. Now the products that I have for this, I got two different colors. I got a black and I got a blue. And these are actually called Speedball Screen Printing Ink and it is specifically for fabric. If you're gonna get this, do not get one unless it has a t-shirt on it. It needs to have a t-shirt on it and it's called Speedball Screen Printing Ink for fabric just for fabric. And so the process, you guys, is the same as you would for your, your chalk paint. Um, and, but the only thing that is different with these is when I'm done, all I have to do is heat press it, meaning that I just put a piece of um, cloth over the top of it and iron it to heat set it in. Um, it's as simple as that, or so I've been told. <laughs> or so I've been told. Okay, so we are going to take our transfer. And we're going to try to center it on here a little bit. I want to make sure that it's not hitting. I might need to lower it just a little bit. Make sure your surface is nice and flat. I don't want it too low, but I don't want it too high. Think that that will work. So I'm just going to spread it out, smooth it out on my surface. Again, I'm not going to be doing this area up in here and this one down here. That is not my intent. So I wanted to do this in the blue. I was hoping to find um, some raglan um, t-shirts that had the colored sleeves and the white in the middle or gray in the middle. Hi, Hannah. Welcome. But I didn't have that. So we're just going to kind of go with what we have. I am going to use my large squeegee. If you guys don't have one of these, these are amazing. Love, love, love these. And so this ink, it cleans off the exact same way you would for your chalk paste. All right. So I'm going to open this up. And we're just going to kind of go for it. No harm, no foul. It's not going to do anything to... To your surface. Okay, I got that all over my fingers. So I'm going to have to wash this off. This is a really cool looking color right here. Okay, you guys are going to have to bear with me because I'm trying to get this off. Let me throw this away and then I need to wash my hands. The consistency on this kind of seems to be like you know when you did finger painting as a kid? That's what that kind of feels like. That's what that consistency kind of is. So we're just going to kind of go for it. I am going to, are you guys nervous? Who's nervous? Are you guys ready for me to try this? Here we go. So I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, it's kind of like um, the consistency of fingerprint. So I'm just going to smear some around. I don't know how fast this will dry. And I can't imagine that you'd need very much. So let's just see. I'm just going to use my squeegee. I'm not having to apply, apply very much pressure at all, guys. I can tell you that. Not a lot of pressure. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these stars up here and some of these lines. And I have a feeling that this probably doesn't dry quite as fast.
just going to get a little bit more in here. I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen. Is anybody else excited? What do you guys think? Okay, just want to make sure I take my lines out. Does that sound bother some of you? <laughs> I can tell that the transfer is sticking well to my fabric. Okay, I'm just going to wipe the excess off of here. And that's sitting off to the side because I don't want any mistakes with it. Okay, anybody ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. I think I could probably use an extra set of hands here. Only because the t-shirt wants to pull up with the transfer. And so I'm having to hold the t-shirt in place while I roll this off of here. Oh, you guys, this is amazing. Okay, I'm trying to make sure my transfer is not sticking to itself. This is kind of a big one, and so I think you might need, you could use some an extra set of hands there. Okay, I have it kind of stuck to itself. I'm going to put it in water right away. Just to make sure that when I go to pull it away from itself, it's not a problem. You guys, that looks amazing. Can you guys see that? Okay, who wants to give me some thumbs up? Look, can you see that? That is incredible. That looks really, really cool. Okay, so see what happens is I just start, I just start staring at him. I start looking at him and staring at him. Isn't that nice? Stephanie says amazing, amazing, or awesome, sorry. And Sophia says nice. Look at that. That turned out really, really, really fun. So this is just the Speedball ink in blue over the gray t-shirt. How fun is that? That is so cool. So I'm going to be putting this on my dress form, but I wanted to wait. Um, my mom is going with me for this show, and I wanted to make one for her and one for me as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one dry. But I think I'm going to keep the cardboard in there because if that ink is is wet at all, then it could um, it could kind of seep seep through. I don't know. Let me see. I have to look. Did it come through? No, it didn't. Oh, it did in a little bit, a few places. It did come through in just a couple of places. But I wonder, I wonder if I can get this to, to come off of here. Only because I have a couple other, I have another project I wanted to do and I wasn't thinking ahead enough that I needed to get another piece of cardboard. So let me see if I can take this out of here. Now the t-shirts that I bought weren't a huge investment. So I thought, well, if it doesn't work, it wasn't like I spent a ton, a ton of money on these t-shirts, honestly. Um, and also wanted to let you guys know that in the beginning of the year in 2000 sometimes in 2018 um, Chuck Couture is going to come out with her own fabric paint to use so that is going to be amazing look at that how fun is that I'm so impressed I'm so impressed I'm going to lay this down in here so it can dry and lay it flat and I want to do our pillowcase. I want to try the pillowcase. Okay, I'm going to have to take, um, I wanted to do the pillowcase in black. So I'm going to have to drop my stuff in here to dry or to wash. And I might have to dry, wash that a little bit um, before I do it. So that was the blue. Now, the Speedball inks, you can get them in all different kinds of colors, right? Um, the one we're going to use next, we're going to use black. We're going to use it on this pillowcase, all right? 
so I haven't opened them. I haven't pre-treated them. I haven't done anything. Like I said, I do know that when, once I'm done and these dry, what I'll need to do is go back and heat set them. And I know that kind of sounds like, oh, scary. What, is that, what does that mean? What does that mean? And basically all that means is that I take an, um, an extra piece of fabric and lay it over the top of it. And then I use um, an iron. That's all. That's it. That's all I have to do. So this is just a plain pillow form right here um, that has a zipper in it that I got. And let me see if I can get it open. Okay. So I'm going to stick my cardboard in here. Hmm. My sleeves aren't fitting in there. So maybe we'll have to tuck them in there a little bit. I'm going to move this down so you guys can see what you're doing. Did you order the ink or buy it locally? I had to order it, Stephanie. Um, I had to get it off of Amazon, and I can put some links in here for you guys, some affiliate links so you guys can order some too. But um, it came really fast. It came like two days, and they were like, I think $12, $13 with tax. So, the, And you saw what little we use. So this is going to go a long way. I'm going to be able to use it for a really, really long time. Okay, so here's my pillow form. And I'm kind of bummed because the little tags that they had in here, the little plastic things, they really made some holes in there. So that's a bummer. Hopefully um, those can work them their way out with uh, when I iron that, hopefully. We shall see. Okay, so the one I wanted to do on here was this one. We are living our adventure because I thought that that would kind of make a fun pillow. Um, you can make your own pillow forms, but I didn't have time this week. Usually I, I would make my own pillows, pillowcases. I don't sew clothes or anything like that. I, well, I have to take that back. I guess I have made some dresses for Mara when she was little, but um, it's not my preference. That's not what I really like to do. I'd rather do like home decor stuff. Okay, this one does not have the word back on it, so I'll just write that on there. Let me set this back over here. The ones that are green, you have transfers that are all different kinds of colors. Some are white, some are green, some are like an aqua, aqua-ish, aqua color. Um, some are gray. The green ones seem to work really, really well. I've had the best luck with them. They last longer. I'm able to use them more. See, this is how I usually they're going to come off for me. This is a way that I like to do them. It kind of helps make sure that they don't, um, when I first get them, that they don't uh, stick to itself. That it won't stick to itself. Okay, so here we have have this one. And this one I think is an 18, no, it's a 12 by 12. Oh, and I have it stuck to the island. Well, there you go. I just defuzzed it. Okay, <laughs> hopefully it wasn't wet. Okay, so we're gonna put this out here. Oh, I got my arms in there. So it's nice and smooth. And I don't know if these little, maybe I should have ironed this ahead of time. I probably should have, but for the sake of, sake of what we're doing, I didn't. I'm just gonna place this one. on here, and you guys know I don't measure. I eyeball almost everything. Drives Norman crazy, I'm sure. And I'm like, oh yeah, that looks, that looks even. Okay, so we're gonna press this down. And I'm gonna go clean off my squeegee because I wanna use it on this one. And it feels like it feels like it has a really good adhesion to all of this. So let me answer some questions really quick. Uh, hi, Laura. Um, thanks for joining us. And if you guys, if you would share this video with anybody you think might be interested in learning how to do this on fabric, I would really appreciate that. That would be awesome. Okay, I'm just going to clean off this ink. It's water soluble, so it comes off really easy. I have my big squeegee. 
And I love how easy it is just to get it in and out of there. Now this time we're going to use the black ink, and this is Black Speedball. Remember, it has to say screen printing for fabric, and it needs to have the little fabric icon on it if you're going to get it. Don't get any of the others. Don't try to use, with this stuff, don't try to go to Hobby Lobby or Michael and get fabric paint. Don't do it. It won't work right. I promise it won't. It's not the right kind of um, ink to use. I will have to say, these little lids on here are on here tight. I'm having trouble getting this off. I'm sure this is not the right way to do it. I am having all kinds of difficulties tonight, guys. One of my fears is I don't want to like splatter this all over. There we go. I'm gonna have to wash my hands again. This is messy getting this lid off. Just know that it's gonna be all over the place when you first do it. When you first take that lid off. But thankfully the ink is water soluble, like I said, so it it comes off really easily. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? You guys still with me? Hi, Brenda. Okay, we're taking the Speedball ink, and it, I told you guys, it's kind of like the consistency of finger paint. Really, it is. Okay, I'm just gonna smear some around. And it's not drying out. I probably don't even need the big squeegee. And this is probably way too much ink, but it's okay, I can put it back in, right? So, I'm just gonna use it. I don't have to apply very much pressure at all. That, that kind of impresses me. And I don't feel like I have to worry about the ink drying out very fast. I'm just getting the excess, that's the excess I have on here. And I just like to scrape it back into my jars. That's what I do on the chalk paste. Now I can imagine that the ink probably will stain my transfer, but that's okay. I've had some people say, oh my goodness, my, my transfer is stained. Really, it's okay. As long as you just don't have the transfer. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is so fun. Look at that. That is really, really cool. Okay, let me put this in the water. I'll make sure that it's soaked. Soaking there. Look, you guys. The detail is really good. Now this is a more of a thick fabric, um, so I wasn't kind of, it's more of a coarse material. What do you guys think? What do you think? Here we go. Hi Brenda, thank you so much for sharing that. I so appreciate that. Look you guys, look how cute that is for a pillow. Is that not adorable? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I am loving that. Look. Okay, see, this is what happens. Like, I do stuff and then I just stare at it for a while. And then I lose all my words because I get caught up in the moment. <laughs> Does that happen to anybody else or is it just me? Isn't that really nice, Stephanie? 
That looks really good. So I already have um, a pillow that I want to put uh, put inside of this. So again, once this dries, I will let it. I'll let it dry completely. And I don't honestly. I don't know how long it'll take for it to dry. Um, so I don't know if it needs to sit out overnight or how long that that will take. This is a transfer that I have actually been wanting to get from Chuck Couture from like since the beginning, and um, they are available over on our site. So one of the things that I was trying to work out, and I don't know if it worked or not, and somebody, Stephanie, will you tell me if this works? Okay, I need your help. Would you type in the comments, would you type the word chalk in the comments? and see if you get a message from me. Can you do that for me? Okay, I'm gonna see if, if Stephanie get, can do that for you. Stephanie is one of my designers. So very cool. So I wanted to see, um, I have this new feature that I've added to my site. Okay, Stephanie typed in chalk. Stephanie, you're gonna to have to let me know that if in a couple minutes, um, in a couple moments, if you get a message from me. Tell me yes or no, just wait, wait a little bit. But a private message within Facebook. In, in, in Messenger because I've been working on this feature to add this that um, if somebody comments a certain word that I can get information to them pertaining to exactly the the word that they commented. Um, Penny asks what do I know Stephanie says not yet I don't think it worked yet hmm it didn't work but that's okay I'll get it figured out I will get it figured out for you guys. I think it'd be just a really fun way to connect with people. They're called, um, um, it's just a, a way within Messenger that I can co communicate with you. And then I will know where all those messages are and I can follow up with them. Um, Penny was asking me, how do I know which ink to use? So this is, let me put the lid on this one so I don't risk dropping it on my, on my project. So I can put the link for you, for you guys in here. But this is called Speedball and it is screen printing fabric ink. I got it off of Amazon and I can put the link in here for you so you guys can get it very easily, but do not buy any of the ones that do not have, they must have, where is it on here? They need to have the little t-shirt on there. They have to have that little t-shirt on there or otherwise it's not gonna, it's not the right stuff and it won't work. That's what you need, okay? Um, it comes in a lot of different colors. I had bought the blue and the black because that's one of the projects that I wanted to work on. Um, but it comes in all different kinds of all different kinds of colors. Really, really, really fun products. And I am just so impressed with the way that turned out. Isn't that fun? So I also bought some onesies, and I have a little. Um, still no message. Stephanie says I think it's not working. I think it's just not working. Um, but that's okay. We will get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. But I was thinking on these onesies that this would be really, really adorable to put. I have this one little saying that says, um, who needs mistletoe when you're this cute? And I thought that those would be really fun to put on the onesies. So that's what I wanted to put there. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, so we'll see. I'm, I'm going to have to dig that out here in a little bit and find that one. But these are really cute. So sweet. So sweet. Anyway, okay, guys, I think that's it. How late is it? What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, I need to get these transfers cleaned off and wiped down just to make sure I get the ink out of the screen print part of it. But if you have any questions, let me know. In a little while, I'll come back in and I'll put that link for, um, for the affiliate for the Speedball Ink so you guys can get it too. There are a ton of new Christmas uh, transfers that have been released and they are over at let me do this for you they're over at shopmyworld.com so go over I just put that put that in and I'm gonna um, pin this oh no it's not gonna let me do that oh here it goes I'm gonna pin that comment to the top um, so that you can see that if you go to chalkmyworld.com you can get the transfers there's a whole bunch of new Christmas ones that are back on on the market there's the um, ho ho ho, holly jolly, um, the snowflakes, um, chalk. Uh, there's um, there's one that uh, deck the chalk or chalk the deck, something like that. But it's kind of like deck the halls, but it has evergreens and it has um, ornaments in it. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that's brand new over there. The vintage uh, truck is available. The farmers market is available. So rush on over there and grab them while you can. Um, they have all been uploaded into the system. So they're there. And while you're there, make sure that you guys get a large squeegee and go ahead and get, hold on, 
Don't go anywhere, guys. Let me show you something really quick. I'll be right back. I wanted to show you some of the um, chalkboards that you can actually get from Chalk Couture. So these are, I think they're the um, 8 by 11 ones. Uh, this one is an 8 by 11. These are porcelain and magnetic, and you can chalk on both sides. Both sides. And I think it's like 13 no, I think it's like $20. I think is what it is. So a good value. And remember, with these designs, you can wash them off and do something different. So you can change out your decor. So these are really good value. I know how well the chalk products work on these chalkboards. So we kind of have a controlled environment, and you're going to have very little room for error. Very, very little room for error. You don't have to worry about um, it not working or anything like that. So these are awesome. And then they also have 12 by 12 squares. There's also a much larger chalkboards as well, but I really want to encourage you, the easiest thing to do, just to have it, you don't have to worry about making anything, just go ahead and get some chalkboard, a transfer paste, and a squeegee, and you're, you're done. You're done. You're all set up to make projects. Um, and especially coming up for Christmas, all these gifts that you guys could be making. It'd be so awesome. So just wanted to encourage you to look at, look at the chalkboards. They're heavy duty, um, very well made. They have like a 50 year warranty. So. At this point, they'll probably outlive me, is all I'm saying. Just saying. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be like 97 years old, which is a possibility. That would be amazing. I think that would be amazing. Anyway, I'm going to, um, I'm getting a little punch happy. I'm going to clean off my transfers and um, take care of a few things. But I just wanted to make sure you guys saw this. How fun is this on fabric? Make sure you tag a friend or share this video with them so they can see it too. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye.